So I oh, you're in the dugout, dugout, bench, right? Mm -hmm. Tommy says, take the pitcher out. Take the pitcher out. Take the pitcher out. What do you keep doing? I don't know. <laughs> when you make love to your lady, you go, did we do it? Yes, we did. Did we do it? Yes, we did. So, so he says to me, take the picture out. I said, really? And I go out to the mound. 50,000 fans closing. It was the, the, the closing day of the season. And everything is okay. And Tommy says, go ahead, do it. Big Mexican gets out in the mound. I walk out and said, give me the ball. What the hell are you doing out here? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing out here? You don't belong out here. You're not, you're not, you're not a coach. You're not get that. You can't take me out of the game. Don't get on my nerves, you little pain here. Don't get on my nerves. <laughs> give me the ball. Thank you, Super. I can't stand you, you crazy little boy. And then with that, Harry Reynolds, the rest of the soul, was the, was the umpire then, comes running out to the mound, rips off the mask. What's going on? He says, oh, my God, it's Don Rickles. Can you get me two tickets to the Dean Martin show in Vegas? <laughs> Don, among many other things, you have always, to me, represented Las Vegas in its heyday when there was genuine excitement. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, Are Don. you holding something? <laughs> <laughs> always does. He does it all the time. I, I don't know. No, I'm just, you know, as you're talking, I'm going, he has something, and it's gone. <laughs> It finally got me. The eyes are gone. The eyes are gone. Okay. But, but you, you represent a, a glamour of Las Vegas that many of us, Paul included, long for. And you mentioned Dean Martin. Tell us some stories about your time with Frank Sinatra. Why should I? Well, you don't, you don't have to. You want to sell we some books? We can just sit here and watch Paul go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the band isn't playing. He does something when he's at home. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, the, 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 great thing, the great thing about Sinatra in those days, it was the Rat Pack. And Frank used to be a real mischief, mischievous guy, you know, and he'd come out with things. So I, I'll be with you in a minute, okay? No, I... I, 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 I want to show a picture? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so we're, we're, we're in Vegas. I'm working in the lounge in those days, in the Sahara Lounge. And I'm out on the stage, and in comes Sinatra. And I'm doing the jokes, and all, and all of a sudden, three state troopers come out on the stage with the hat and the whole thing, and handcuffs. Frank's sense of humor. Yeah. The man basically had a Nazi kind of an attitude. He really did. <laughs> and he came out on the stage, put handcuffs on me, and the guy said, you're under arrest under the orders of Frank Sinatra. He doesn't like the show. <laughs> he took me off the stage, drove me over to the sands, and sat me in a chair, and I couldn't go. And the owner of the Sahara said, what happened to the Jew? <laughs> and there it was. And I finally had to beg him to let me go, and I came back, and I had the job. Yeah. And it was, it, was, it was written up in all the papers, and had people like you reading it that went, <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> did you ever think of putting a stick on your can and going to a baseball game and coming on those dolls? Yeah, I did. I thought maybe. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you, uh, did you ever, now, now uh, Frank is, uh, you know, it was re reported sometimes. That By he the way, when you get a chance, talk about the book, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, the book. <laughs> no. Thanks. Many of the same great stories in there, and you won't be annoyed by me interrupting when you read the book. No, and, and you read the book, and you wrote me a... By the way, mm -hmm. for, for you, I know that's a lot, and I appreciate it. I'm saying very serious. You wrote me a lovely note, well, and I appreciate you. it. About yeah. the, Dave did, about yeah. the book. And, and the, uh, David Ritz... <laughs> no, he did. He did. And, and David Ritz uh, was very helpful in making me put this together. And it all happened with a fellow called David Rosenthal of Simon & Schuster. You know, because, as you know, David, everybody has a book. I, I mean, our fellow comedians, they all have books, and ladies, too, and... I said, why would I write a book? And Rosenthal looked at me and he said, because it's you. And I thought that was a good answer, and it stunned me. <laughs> and, uh, and my wife, I married 42 years, and she went, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to get her jewelry. Anything <laughs> to get her jewelry. Well, I want to, I just.